Welcome to the Money Manifestation Mastery Podcast with your host, Laura Waldman, where we talk all things money. Big money, big purpose, big power. Waking up your wealth for heart-centered business owners and entrepreneurs. I am delighted to be with you once again for a deep dive into the world of money manifestation mastery. And today we're going to talk about pain. Pain is an incredible gift if you choose to see it that way. Your greatest pain can be your greatest teacher. Be the best thing that's ever happened to you if you shift your perspective and point of view about that pain. So I want to support you with this because this really truly is the most powerful practice and when held correctly can accelerate everything for you. The first thing I want to highlight is what happens when you avoid pain. What are the symptoms of pain avoidance? because most people will do everything in their power to avoid pain, to avoid discomfort, to avoid the hard things. And that shows up in all sorts of wonderful ways. What I'd like you to think about is, what does pain avoidance look like in your life? So this can be lots of things. This is really where we're looking at your money blocks sabotaging patterns of behavior, addictions, habits that you don't feel good about, being too busy, not enough time, running around like a headless chicken, overgiving, holding everything up on your own shoulders, feeling alone, unsupported. There are so many ways that this shows up. Stress, problems, overwhelm. And ill health, burnout, exhaustion, feeling completely drained, like you can't go on anymore. There are so many ways that pain avoidance will be showing up for you in your life, in your business, in your finances, in your team, in your relationships, because wherever you go, there you are. But it can be quite hard to find it because it's in the shadows, it's in the unconscious, it's in habits of behavior that you can't necessarily see or identify. And my superpower is holding a space for those parts of you that are in the shadows, that are in the blind spots, to help you liberate yourself and get what you truly desire. And the way in is to look at pain consciously and mindfully and face the very thing that you are avoiding. Now that is the work that most people aren't willing to do, but you are a leader, visionary, business owner, entrepreneur that are here to do things differently. That you're here for transformation and evolution. And this is what happens when you follow the guidance of your heart, of your soul, of your body's wisdom. It's gonna take you on a powerful journey of change and transformation, healing, growth, and evolution. So that very thing you've been avoiding is actually the gateway to getting what you want. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. First, I'd like to share with you how I developed the skill. These skills that I share with you, the money manifestation mastery process has all been born from my pain and my trauma and wanting to do things differently. Now, I grew up in a very wealthy and privileged background in a beautiful part of British Columbia, Canada in Vancouver. Everything looked perfect from the outside. Everything was, physically speaking, pretty awesome. But it wasn't until my godmother committed suicide, leaving behind her three children, and my mom, devastated by this loss, slipping into a deep depression and reviewing and reflecting on her whole life. And then suddenly everything changed after that point. All of this hidden, suppressed pain, hurt, harm that had been going on for years and years and years came up to the surface. And everything imploded. Our whole life as it was 
was no longer. And it was an incredibly devastating and traumatic experience, but also one of the best things that have ever happened to me because it woke me up into my purpose, who I am, who I am today. But my question that has been with me and led everything in my work over the last 25 years was, what happened? Why did it happen? And how can I prevent that from happening? That was really the the core three questions that have been with me my entire life. And what I concluded from those questions were that both of my parents, with the best intentions, trying to provide the best life possible, were both in pain avoidance. They didn't address issues. They didn't talk about it. They didn't acknowledge it. We were busy, 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 doing, 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 doing all the right things on the surface level, financially, work-wise, lifestyle-wise, family-wise, but they weren't addressing the deeper issues. And when you don't address the deeper issues, life has a way of forcing you to address them. So because of that, I've been pretty hardcore in my life about addressing difficult things, leaning into the hard stuff, facing the pain. But also it's what I'm guided to do from my inner wisdom, that wealthy wisdom within, when there's an issue, when there's a block, when there's an obstacle that shows up in a surface symptom, right? Health-wise or relationship-wise or business-wise or financially speaking, there will be symptoms showing up in your life, pain, problems, challenges, obstacles, that are actually signposts. There are symptoms of a deeper issue going on. And we are hardwired to project outwards, to look out, to blame, to not take any responsibility because we can't see ourselves. We have blind spots to who we are. So this process, this pain portal to prosperity is a process of taking radical self-responsibility And understanding that everything that's happening in your outside world will have a mirrored reflection of your inside world if you choose to work with it like that. It doesn't mean that everything's your fault or everything's your responsibility, but that everything in life is happening for you. And there is always a gift by diving deeper into the darkness. There is divinity in the darkness, but most people don't want to go there and Yeah, so it means going against the grain and doing things differently. If you look at any innovation, ideas, creativity, change, it comes from problems and wanting to solve problems. And this is why I love working with business owners and entrepreneurs, because fundamentally we're problem solvers. We're here to try and create solutions for people's problems. So... If it weren't for problems and it weren't for pain and it weren't for challenges, we wouldn't change. Because when we're comfortable, when human beings are comfortable, we just keep doing the same as what we always do. Fortunately or unfortunately, the hardest times, the most painful times are where the most growth is at. This is where we grow. This is where we change. And human beings tend to not change until we're absolutely forced to and usually until it's too late. So my big passion is how to get on the front foot and work with pain consciously and mindfully, paying attention to the signs and symptoms so you don't have to wait for utter devastation before you make change in your life, in your business, in your finances. Working with pain consciously and mindfully is the path of growth, of evolution, of learning, of unlearning, of healing, of transformation. Pain is holding a great gift for you if you lean into it. It needs to be held. You need to be safe. And when you're held in a safe space and working with your pain, consciously and mindfully, there is gold waiting for you on the other side. I call it the pain portal to prosperity. That what you long for, what you desire is on the other side of pain. It's on the other side of discomfort. It's on the other side of your known comfort zone. And that pain can manifest as mental pain through negative, destructive thoughts, beliefs, stories, ideas, perspectives, or point of views. 
That pain can be emotional through feelings, grief, sadness, anger, despair, depression. That pain can be physical through physical health issues, physical health problems. The pain can be showing up as problems in your team, in your business, in your financial flows, in your relationships. There's so many ways that pain shows up in our life. And I've learned that if you pay attention to that, rather than fight it or run away from it or avoid it or pretend it's not there, by leaning in, even though it's temporarily really uncomfortable and really painful and feels horrendous, if you stay present with it, there is so much information here for you. There is so much growth here. There's gold within it. And it's actually a pathway, a gateway through the fire into your fortune, the pain portal to prosperity. So after your initial reactions when difficult things show up in your life, the money manifestation mastery process is about taking that pain and creating space to sit with it and be with it. I call this sacred space to sit with your pain as a message as invitation, as a sign that you need to pay attention to. So rather than all the energy that you use to avoid the hard things, what about creating space to stay present with it? This needs space, this needs holding, and this needs some time. And I like to do this as part of the daily money manifestation mastery practice. Check out my other episode for more information on that, where you sit with it. You first acknowledge it, breathe with it, stay present with it. See it as a gift, as an opportunity. There's a message for you here. There's information for you here. And the first thing is to breathe with your reactions, what's going on, mind, emotions, body, nervous system, against this pain, which is natural. It's your default reaction. To hold that reaction and keep leaning in. Breathe with what's underneath it. The thoughts, the beliefs, the emotions, the physical response. And keep breathing in. What gold is waiting for you in this challenge? Where is the gift? But first, before the gift and the gold can be revealed, which you need to go mining for, you need to see what is here. And the pain will be showing you what's missing, the gaps, the problems. And if you can breathe and stay present with the pain from a place of the witness or the neutral observer, staying curious, free from the stories, what your mind is telling you, free from your emotional reactions and free from your physical nervous system response, information will be revealed to you. This is where you bring in your innovator, your problem solver, where your creative energy comes up with solutions through leaning in, through facing it, through addressing it and talking about it. And as the leader of your life, That also means vulnerability, being willing to acknowledge your mistakes, your weaknesses, the parts of you that don't know, the vulnerable parts of yourself. This is where you need to open up to support, to feedback, to information. And honestly, it's the only way that we can grow by acknowledging what's missing, acknowledging what's here acknowledging our weaknesses. And this is my personal call to leaders, to business owners, to people in positions of power. This is an essential step to being a heart, body, soul aligned leader, business owner, wealth creator. Because with money comes power. You are in a position of power. And the hard thing about this is There may not be answers or solutions to the pain, to the problem immediately. 
So it means holding space for it, staying curious, staying open, staying in the question, being vulnerable enough to say, I don't know, but being willing to hold that space of not knowing to allow the creative process to take place. And this is where in time you'll start creating solutions. You'll start finding answers to your problems through people, through systems, through structures. And this is where you step into the process I call rewire to receive, where through that vulnerability, through that dropping of your defenses and your protection, your money blocks, through that vulnerability, you start to call in the support you need. You start to co-create with the universe, with life, with other people. And solutions start to appear, either through you or through other people, through opportunities. And in time, as you keep leaning in, facing the problems, acknowledging what isn't working, and leaning in, and start taking aligned action, guided from your heart, body, and soul, one step at a time, you start transforming or changing your reality. That initial period doesn't feel good. It can feel terrible. It can feel out of control. It can feel like everything's falling apart. It can bring up a lot of shame, overwhelm, anxiety. It can bring up all of your survival fears. But holding this process is mastery level. And if you keep breathing with it, staying present with it, one day at a time, one moment at a time, one breath at a time, solutions will appear. Not necessarily as fast as you want, not necessarily in the timeline that you need, but change is inevitable from that place. The way that you've been doing things, often unconsciously, can unconsciously create the pain or problems that you're currently experiencing. So in order to change the pain or problems that you're currently experiencing requires you to change. And this is the part that I call radical self-responsibility, where you look at yourself, look at what's running you, look what's running in your system, your mind, body, emotions, thoughts, beliefs, unconsciously, and start doing the work to transform your inner game in order to transform your outer reality. One loving, patient, step at a time. Thank you for joining us for today's conversation, the pain portal to prosperity. I would love to know what's here for you. I know this is a deep, rich and challenging conversation. So come on over to my website, laurawalman.com. Send me a message. I'd love to hear what is popping for you. And if you'd like any support with any pain or problem or challenges that you're currently having in your business or your finances or your life, I'd like to invite you to apply for a free Money Mastery Breakthrough Session. This is a very powerful opportunity to have a 60-minute one-to-one session where we take a deep and honest look at what is going on for you in your life, in your business, in your finances, in yourself. And we tune in to get clarity on your next best aligned action step to help you moving forward and consciously creating the life, the business, the finances, that you truly desire. So don't hesitate. Visit my website, laurawalbin.com, book in for a breakthrough session. And I look forward to being with you again next time for another episode of the Money Manifestation Mastery Podcast. See you then.